गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू दी नेक्स्ट लेक्चर ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉनिक मेजरमेंट्स एंड इंस्ट्रूमेंटेशन माय नेम इज टीएसएस नाग पवन कुमार टुडे आवर टॉपिक इज शेयरिंग्स ब्रिज इट इज द वन ऑफ द एसी ब्रिजेस वी हैव डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ एसी ब्रिजेस हियर कैपेसिटर्स कंपैरिजन इंडक्टर्स मैक्सवेल स्केल्स शेयरिंग्स वेट्स एंड आइडल एंडरसन्स ब्रिज टुडे वी विल सी शेयरिंग ब्रिज सो बिफोर दैट हैव यू द रिव्यू ऑफ योर प्रीवियस ब्रिजेस So this is a capacitance comparison bridge. This is a inductance comparison bridge. That is a Maxwell's bridge. This is the Hayes bridge. Okay. So here we have capacitive terms. From this bridge we have measured the unknown capacitance values. Here we have measured unknown inductance values. From here this we have measured unknown inductance values. Here also we have measured unknown inductance values. These two bridges and this bridge. These three bridges. We are used for measuring the unknown inductance value. This bridge only we have used for measuring the unknown capacitance value. So out of these four, these three, this one and this one and this one, we have used for measuring the unknown inductance. This bridge we have used for measuring the unknown capacitance. So coming to this uh, sharing bridge, this sharing bridge we are using for measuring the unknown capacitance values. Unknown capacitance values. That is, we have to measure. This unknown CX value, this capacitance CX value, we have to measure. Okay, so uh, this is almost all similar to the previous Maxwell's bridge. Okay, so previous Maxwell's bridge. So see here, this Maxwell's bridge, except this uh, inductance component, except that inductance component, uh, the remaining components almost all seems uh, to be same for the sharing bridge. So in the place of this inductance, we have placed uh, a capacitor. So this is also a mod, a slight modification of Maxwell's bridge. So the scientist Sherings, uh, he proposed this method. So with the help of this method, we are finding the unknown capacitance values. So we have to do the regular process as it is based on the bridge balancing condition. Now you have to write down each arm uh, if it is value. Here Z2 is equal to R2 and Z3 is equal to C3. Okay, so we have to write down the capacitance term. So this is also a slight modification. I forgot to say that. So the third arm here, J3, we have changed it from resistance to capacitance. Here we have a known capacitor C3, C1. Two capacitances are available, and Cx. We have to find the Cx value. Okay, so these are the modifications. This one and this one. These are the two modifications are there. From the Maxwell's bridge, these two modifications are there from the Maxwell's bridge. Okay, so before going to that uh, derivation part, first we will see the some of the critical description. A very important bridge used for the precision measurement of capacitance and their insulating properties. Right, precision measurement, precision measurement of capacitances and insulating properties of the sharing bridge. Okay, so that is a major objective. The way is basic circuit arrangement. Just now we have seen the standard capacitor C3 is a high quality mica capacitor. The standard capacitor in the in the place of C3, they are taking high quality mica capacitor that is low loss capacitor for a general measurements. Or in a capacitor having very stable value, for the generally. The uh, step of uh, air capacitor has in the uh, stable value. The type of uh, with the small electric field insulation measurement, uh, we are taking that C3 capacitor. For balance, uh, for balancing the bridge condition, here we are taking the general generated equation Z1 Zx is equal to Z2 Z3. So here we have written the bridge balancing condition. Bridge balancing condition. So from this bridge balancing condition, I am writing. Zx is equal to Zx is equal to Z2 Z3 Zy1 Z2 Z3 Zy1. Now we have to write first Z1. So Z1 is equal to parallel combination of R and C. Parallel combination of R and C. So here I have written the Zx is equal to like this. Rx minus J omega Cx. Sorry, uh, this is Zx. Uh, we said we said uh, I said that the first one uh, arm one. Arm in the arm one, R one is series with the C one. So the first arm parameter Z one, I am writing with the terms of Y one, where Y one is equal to one by R one plus J omega C one. Okay, 
So see here, this is the first arm parameters y1. y1 is equal to 1 by r1 plus j omega c1. That is the first parameter y1. And the next coming to z2. z2 is equal to r2 and z3. In the place of z3, we have a capacitor that is a c3 capacitor. In the place, I am writing minus j by omega c3, minus j by omega c3. And the fourth arm, unknown uh, Zx value, Zx is equal to uh, a series a, a resistivity capacitor, uh, series capacitor. So, Rx minus j by omega cx. So, these are the Zx, Z2, Z3 and Y1. Now, we have the equation Z3 is equal to Z2, Z3, Y1. Z2 that is equal to R2. Z3 that is equal to minus J by omega C3 that is a capacitor. Y1, 1 by R1 plus J omega C1. And Zx is equal to Rx minus J by omega Cx. So, this is the expression. Now, we have written the bridge balancing condition for the sharing bridge. For the sharing bridge, just we have written the bridge balancing condition from our bridge circuit. So, this is a process we have to remember perfectly. We have to remember perfectly. Right. Let us uh, simplify this expression for measuring unknown capacitance value and the resistance value Cx and Rx. Right. Okay. So, after uh, writing this, uh, after simplification this, uh, this expression, so this bridge balancing condition, I am multiplied this values, this R2 I have multiplied with this one, the minus J value, minus J by say, omega C3 value, I have multiplied this one. That is the first one, R2 by R1 uh, minus, J by, minus J, R2 R1 by omega C3, that is the first one, minus J into R2 by R1 by omega C3 plus the second term is R2 C1 by C3, R2 C1 by C3. So, equate the real and imaginary terms, equate the real and imaginary terms. So, the real terms Rx is equal to R2 C1 by C3 and imaginary terms after equating Cx is equal to R1 by R2 C3. So, these are the simplified forms. So, Rx and Cx values, Rx and Cx values. The dial of capacitor C1 can be calibrated directly to give the dissipation factor at a particular frequency. The dissipation factor D of a series RC circuit is defined as the cotangent of the phase angle. So, where D is equal to, when D is equal to Rx by Xx that is equal to omega Cx Rx or that is equal to omega Cx Rx. Also, D is the reciprocal of Q where the D and Q relationship is D is equal to 1 by Q. D is equal to 1 by Q. So, that is the relationship between D and Q. Then, what is D? D is the quality of the capacitor. D is indicating the quality of the capacitor. Commercial units measure from 100 picofarads to 1 millifarad. So, commercial sharing bridges are used for measuring the capacitor values capacitances values from 100 picofarads to 1 millifarad with plus or minus 2% accuracy with plus or minus 2% accuracy. The dial of C3 is graduated in terms of direct readings for Cx. If the resistance ratio is maintained at a fixed value, the bridge is widely used for testing small capacitors at low voltages with very high precision. With very high precision at low voltages, they will uh, use it for testing small capacitors. They are usually they are widely used for testing the small capacitors with the low voltages. Okay, this is uh, a good sharing switch. Yeah, still uh, some more points are there. Uh, in the sharing switch, the lower junction of the bridge is going to be grounded, and the frequency normally used on this bridge, the reactances of capacitors C3 and Cx are much higher than the resistances of R1 and R2. So, that is generally we are keeping the values of in the sharing bridge. This is based on the sharing bridge property. Hence, most of the voltage drops across C3 and Cx and very little are across R1 and R2. Hence, if the junction of R1 and R2 be grounded, the detector is effectively grounded potential. So, when the R2, R1 and R2 junctions are going to be very grounded voltages, then the detector is representing with very less potential, that is almost a zero potential. 
This reduces any stray capacitance effects and makes the bridge more stable. So the main purpose of uh, the, the main purpose of this uh, less voltage uh, less voltages are uh, going to be avoid the stray capacitors which will be generated uh, uh, unexpectedly. So those stray capacitances are uh, eliminated by using uh, these type of low voltages and the bridge is going to be in the stable conditions. Right. So, later on this sharing bridge, we have a problem here. So, the problem here, the bridge is given in this bridge here. They are asking, an AC bridge has the following constants. So, they give it some constants. Arm AB, Arm AD, Arm BC, Arm CD. So, they give it four arms. The first arm, uh, the AB, capacitor 0 0.05 microfarads in parallel with 1 kilo ohm resistor. That is 1 kilo ohm resistor of uh, R1 value and C1 value is about 0 0.5 microfarads and uh, next arm 2 kilo ohms. So here R2 it has 2 kilo ohms, R2 in between AD and they give it BC capacitor 0 0.5 microfarads, 0 0.5 microfarads. In the picture they give it A, B, C, D terminals. In between AD they give it 2 kilo ohms. That is a combination. And uh, we have to find the CX and RX values with the frequency range of 1 kilohertz. They give it with the frequency 1 kilohertz. Determine the unknown resistance and capacitive terms. Now coming to that, this is the solution. So the coming to the solution, we have to measure first RX value. RX is equal to, we have the formula that is C1, C3 by R2. C1 value they have given, C3 value they have given, that is we have to substitute and we have to find the value of Rx, where Rx is equal to 2 kilo ohms and Cx is equal to R1 by R2 into C3, substitute the given values and find the value of Cx, that is equal to 0 0.25 microfarad, that is equal to 0 0.25 microfarad. The distribution factor D is equal to omega Cx into Rx, omega Cx into Rx, that is a distribution factor. So after substituting this value, the distribution factor we got 3.1416, 3.1416, okay, this is the problem, right. So with the help of a sharing gauge, we can measure the unknown capacitance value and we can find the dissipation factor, we can find the dissipation factor with the help of sharing speech. Okay, thank you for, for uh, patient's listening. And we have completed the sharing bridge. In the next class, we will see Wien Bridge and Anderson's Bridge. Okay, thank you.